Um, I wanted to um, maybe start by, I don't know if it's an obvious question, but there's many layers of reading the film and experiencing the film. And one thing that's really crucial in, the, in this is um, it's a couple, it's a relationship, and how it, it works and what the chaos is about. So can you start talking about how you were writing the film, thinking about this? And, and then, of course, it goes in so many directions. But let's start with uh, yes. maybe a couple. <clears throat> yes, I w uh, we wanted to dive in, in that relationship in... Sorry. It's me? Yeah. No, it was me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, it was, uh, I think, uh, we were conscious about that. But the, I think the, the way we, we wanted to start was to go through the, the trial, to, to get inside that couple, you know? And the, the main thing is, all, it's the others who are always talking about them and her first. And she's always um, listening, <laughs> listening others to. They explained always what she lived before, and she says, "Okay, she just like to say, okay, I, it's not. It was not like this. It was not, it's not like that." And I think it was in that way that we wanted to um, tell that, that, that story. Yes. Uh, can you talk about uh, are you divided the writing process? Are you? I'm not sure. Are you write together? So, I mean, do you, or yes. do you divide uh, each part, or you yeah. talk about it? Uh, yeah, okay. at the beginning it's just many discussions uh, without uh, writing anything, just we write some words, but it's only discussion, discussion, discussion about what we really want, about the, the main thing that we, desi we have desire for. And after um, we are separate in separate rooms and we just send some email with <laughs> the scenes, <laughs> all the days, many, many scenes, many, many email. <laughs> and all the, day, all the day, like, okay, uh, I work on that scene and after I, we check. Uh, sometimes it's not good because we like, uh, it's not good, it's like a teacher, it's not good, I don't like it. And the other is like, oh, okay, you're not my teacher, <laughs> you're not my... Uh, my teacher, but no, it was uh, it was funny in a way, and sometimes uh, for the um, all the trial, all the, all the courtroom, I think um, Arthur started a long, long uh, work without me uh, on many many scenes, and after uh, we yes, it depends of the scenes all the time. You want to add something? Um, that's uh, between the talking phase and the ping pong phase in separate rooms. <laughs> uh, there's, there must have been another phase of, of constructing, but it, I must say that I think Justin and, and, and me kind of forgot how it how it happened. It, it's in it, for each film uh, for me anyway. Uh, there's a kind of oblivion of how we got to the precise point of knowing the structure and uh, getting really precisely in, inside the scenes. So it's uh, it's a strange uh, process of of starting with a, a kind of chaos of, of ideas and and excitements and 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 yeah throwing throwing. Uh, possibilities uh, in, in the discussion and then at some point it becomes more and more precise and for this film it had to be very precise uh, but we forgot a bit how we, how we got there. <laughs> Probably because it was very organic so you forgot the difficulties and uh, maybe the chaotic part. <laughs> um, it also, you, you worked with Sandra before, uh, she had a really great role in, in Sybil but was a much smaller role and I think you wanted to work with Sandra specifically and, and making writing and directing this film uh, with, with Sandra in mind. Uh, so can you talk about um, how you envision the character and, and bringing her to the project? I, as, since you knew each other, I assume it was relatively easy to convince Sandra to, to come back. Uh, yeah, can you talk? Okay, um, yes, I think just Sibyl was really a strange experience very, very, because uh, Sandra has, a, yes, a small part, but she was so involved and it was so intense when she 
It was uh, in Stromboli, the main thing, so it was, everything <laughs> was really uh, intense. And uh, I think after that, yes, we, I, was, uh, I was in love, no, <laughs> not in love, but that, yes, in, in a way. You can, you can say. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, uh, yes, uh, you know, when you, you, when you work with actors, I think the, the, the first time we, you, we, you are a little shy, we are a little, little shy, and we have to sometimes to to put a distance and to go back uh, to work together and it's uh, sometimes it's really amazing because you put the shyness uh, the shyness no the shy thing uh, the aside and after you you be very yes uh, it's it's a desire things but yes it was very easy i i just uh, i i start to imagine a project and i was uh, I was upset by her, and I was like, maybe it's not a good point to to start a movie just for an actress. But so I wait to have the good project, and after yes, of course she she was. Uh, I we were op upset by her, and we were obsessed by okay. She's she if she refused the part. I don't know why uh, who can play the part, and uh, yes because she's um, she has something very um, human, and at the same time she she can. She can be very. I, I can. We can. We can spend. I don't know. Maybe it's not uh, your point, your point of view. But I think we can spend two hours and a half with, uh, with her, and three hours. I don't know. <laughs> maybe more. With, without, sans faire le tour d'elle, pardon, sans faire vraiment. Uh, without having surrounded her, without having you. seen her through. Sorry for my English. Um, yes. So, and uh, sorry. The question is was. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Sandra, can you talk about uh, being approached with this script and how you envision playing the character that's also named Sandra um, after talking? Uh, Justine had told me when we were working on Sybil that she's planning on something where we could spend a little more time together, but I had no idea what it would be about. She said something about a mother and a son, but I didn't have any, I didn't really didn't know what it was about. And then I recently found the email in, in 2021, you sent me the script. It was the finished script. It was, um, to me, it was perfect. It came in French and my French is very limited, but still I decided that I want to be a part of it because of, I, I just couldn't stop reading and I wanted to know how this works and um, how we could manage to make this character alive and how to manage that people would follow her without her pleasing anyone in any second. So, uh, yeah, I was absolutely amazed and excited to read it, and I wanted to be a part of it and for spending time with her. That was, uh, yeah. I mean, it's the character I find fascinating. She doesn't give to any compromises, but she doesn't try to be like super nurturing, lovely, and, and playing. The card where, oh, I'm a poor little woman, I didn't do anything, you know, I'm not guilty. It's, she's also a foreigner, and, and in the region of France where foreigners are not particularly welcome, and specifically from Germany, it's, it's still like, oh, so we don't care about her, she's not from, uh, from here. And to just follow her trajectory without any trace of sentimentality or just like, um, Weaknesses, it's, it's, it's quite powerful that you be able to, to bring it like this. Were you wondering, uh, or did you discuss with Justine in terms of the, your culpability or the guilt into uh, what Sandra is, is doing? Because we don't really know. It doesn't really matter, but we don't, we're not, we don't know for sure, but I think maybe playing a character mm. would be more important for you. I would, I would have thought that too, and two days before shooting, I, I had to ask her, but didn't get the answer that I wanted. Um, <laughs> she just gave a directoral instruction, and um, which was great, and we never had that, we never discussed that question again because we, um, we soon found out that it's more about the reflection that it gives to the audience, or the audience gives back to her. So it would be important to not play with in a manipulative way, but to be aware of all the feelings that would be projected on her by the audience. And an audience is like very, very 
uh, diverse. I mean, um, the people have so many different boundaries and moral standards and fears and pe things that they would never do and judgments they would have and all these things. So we decided that she would have to try to just be honest all the time, which is hard enough. Um, and she would not fish for any sort of uh, affection or anything because, first of all, she doesn't need it because she is very okay with herself, I think. And also she is intelligent enough to know all the traps um, of such a process maybe, although it is the first time um, for her to do something like that. And I think the preparation of the, of the lawyer uh, must have been very profound. Um, so yeah, there were more things. We didn't talk so much about what we wanted to avoid. I mean, the, all the, there were so many layers of the character and so many possibilities to also show her warmth and her affection towards her child and uh, her husband and people around her that we, yeah, we never worried that she would be cold or anything. So it was just, there is like one moment at a time and you just put them together in the end. And of, yeah, we did many variations of every scene, so there were some kind of uh, La Moyant um, scenes too, and scenes where she got angry at a moment where it wouldn't be appropriate, so we tried, tried to find our way through it, and Justine decided, and Arthur, they all together decided very much later in the editing which way she, wouldn't, which she would take through this. It's quite interesting that the first, I mean, the beginning of the film is like, what, what do you want to know? And the entire film, it's like discovering uh, layers of, of Sandra or trying to discover layers on Sandra through the way she is, the way she moves, and the way she is with different people as well. So we, I don't, we don't know if we know the truth, but we see uh, an entire character that's very complex and uh, um, like fascinating to follow. Uh, through the two and a half hours, but it seems really fast. <laughs> uh, can you talk a little bit about um, the interests and uh, how you created all the trial scenes, the courtroom scene, because it's, it's also something that seems interesting in your work because it's not the first time you did uh, trials. Uh, this one is, I assume, based on a lot of research, so, there's some arguments in the film that are quite funny for, I think, probably for American audience. The reading of books, using the, the reference to the song. Uh, like it, it seems nearly like theater, in a way. Uh, so can you talk about the research you did and the mise en scène for the, the courtroom as well? Uh, Yes, we, we, we try to don't imitate uh, the US uh, legal drama. So <laughs> at the beginning, I think we made many mistakes and the French lawyer who helped us a lot, uh, Vincent Courcel Labrousse told, me, told us that, okay, we, we, you are not in US. <laughs> you, it's not the same game in France. So you have to, we have to, to yes, to, to play the French uh, <laughs> card. So. Um, of course, it's very different, and we, we were very, very, yes, he helped us a lot. And after, I think more generally, I'm, I'm not, I like very much the legal drama, but I think sometimes I, we were a lot, um, we, we saw a lot of movies before you know, in the writing process. Uh, all the classicals and, and, and many, many series and uh, documentary. And sometimes in fiction, not in documentary, we were a little, um, sorry, I switched just for that in French. On était un peu étonné, c'est-à-dire qu'on se disait des fois, c'est étrange, euh, um, on a l'impression que dès qu'on filme la justice, en fait, on est obligé de mettre une lumière très, très, qui vient de Dieu, comme ça, qui vient juger, qui est très sentencieuse, tout est parfaitement clean, tout est propre, white cube, etc. Et donc des fois, on se disait, mais pourquoi est-ce que la représentation du judiciaire est comme ça Pourquoi est-ce qu'elle est comme ça dans, dans la fiction et je crois qu'on a vraiment essayé de prendre le, le contre-pied de ça. Et moi qui ai fréquenté beaucoup les tribunaux en France, qui ai passé énormément de temps dans les tribunaux, je suis toujours surprise de me dire « Mais pourquoi est-ce que je, quand je vais dans un tribunal, ça ne ressemble jamais à ce que je vois dans une fiction ?» Pourquoi est-ce que j'ai toujours l'impression que les gens ont faim, qu'ils ont envie de faire autre chose, qu'ils sont fatigués, qu'ils ne jouent pas la fonction C'est-à-dire que euh, 
euh, tout comme les flics, quand tu vois des flics, souvent ne jouent pas la fonction, les avocats, etc. Enfin, je veux dire, t'as pas l'impression qu'ils jouent. Enfin, dans les flics, c'est peut-être un peu différent, mais, mais en tout cas, pas que m'aventurer là-dessus, mais en tout cas, euh, je veux dire, euh, on a toujours l'impression qu'en tout cas, quand tu joues comme ça un, un, un avocat, en tout cas, euh, les, gens, les gens ont besoin de surjouer un peu le, le, leur rôle. Et donc, moi, j'ai essayé de tout aplanir et de dire, voilà, on va aller contre ça. So, um, seeing all of the, the, the sort of cinematic representation of the legal system, we were surprised to find the way that there was this, this sort of recurrent and, and, and uh, uh, the, the tropes of the mise en scène and especially of the lighting, this kind of um, light that comes from above as a kind of divine judgment of kinds. Um, and, and, and so we wanted to, to do something that was very different from that, especially because um, I had spent a lot of time um, in, in courtrooms myself and, and being there I'd always found something that was much more alive, where it seemed like everybody always, you know, so some people are hungry, some people want to be doing something else. Um, nobody's all, nobody is playing the part um, the way that we tend to see in the cinematic representations. Um, the lawyer isn't playing the lawyer's part. And, and so this was um, something that we worked with, trying to, 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 to bring everything to level, in a way, in, in representing our court, courtrooms. Sorry, I can, I can I, but it could, c'est trop long, it's too long, but I, I could develop a long, no, because it's very interesting the way you are, why it's always, um, you know, uh, symmetric, la manière dont on fait ça. Symmetrical? Symmetrical. I don't know why. You, you know, it's, if, comme si, parce que c'était judiciaire, il fallait que ce soit symétrique. Because, because the place is, is, is symmetrical, so yes, it's, but it's one of the difficulties you had was to uh, break yes, this. But yes, this, but it's this. a stupid idea. <laughs> to, no, but it's it's a, not an idea. No, no, not your, not your, no, 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 the, the, the idea the, of, you're right. I think it's a stupid idea to think, okay, because it's like it's this. It's a lack of idea. We have to film this like this, you know, and so we, we try to, to do the opposite, to search, you know, to have always a, um, a something... Uh, Oh, sorry, excuse me. Something in the foreground to create <laughs> some you. depth in the field. And to follow all the point of view, point of view of Sandra, point of view of Daniel, point of view of the jury, and, and to not to, to be the, to do the white thing perfect, you know. To not have any heroes, you know, because normally in such films there is one hero who will find yeah. the truth and you can exactly. rely on him from the beginning to the end, you follow him to find it. And they didn't do it, so... Why did you say you spend a lot of time in tribunals? Why? No, when? Yeah. Why? She has a criminal past, but this is another story. <laughs> okay. I she tried to kill me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, I didn't... Je connaissais pas lui à ce moment-là. I didn't know him at that moment. I was young, very young. Do not believe her. <laughs> Okay. Um, no. Yes. You know, I, I didn't do the 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 the, the very uh, classical uh, art, uh, cinema art school. No, cinema school. <laughs> so I did an art school in Paris, and I think uh, I learned before uh, the um, the classical movies, the documentary. So yes, it was. That totally makes sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Why you would be in tribunals. Ah oui, <laughs> sorry, I make so... Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, no, Trying no. to avoid the truth. <laughs> okay, I, I, can, I can continue, but it, it could be uh, long. No, but okay. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, um, I would also like to ask a question about your... <laughs> your, <laughs> your relationship with the cinematographer, yeah. uh, Simon Beaufils. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he is is really good in um, interior scene uh, as well as exterior, because I've seen a lot of film that he shot, and yeah. I was wondering. You worked with him before, right? Yeah. I was. Yeah. With okay. him. Yeah. We worked. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Together. Before. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you continue. Yeah. Yeah. Victoria, Sibyl, and this. Yes. Mm -hmm. So can you talk about the instruction and the collaboration on the set for this film? It, it's quite complex also, like the exterior and the chalet and then all the interior. Yes, I think it was very different, our work on that movie, because I was, uh, I prepared uh, very much before our collaboration on set, so 
I made uh, bo uh, storyboard, uh, everything was very uh, precise in my head, and you know, the, the, the script was, we worked a lot on, so when we arrived on set, we were a little like, oh, uh, I wanted to, to, to be, uh, yes, to, to control everything, <laughs> maybe too much. And so I think when we started, I did something very strange. <laughs> I say, okay, it's not a book. It's not a book, a script, it's not a book. So it's, it's dead, you know? So we have to put everything aside and to invent something. So I, I, I asked for Simon, okay, we have to be very, very, um, how do you say, excuse me, uh, totalement, uh, on doit prendre les accidents, we, are, we have to take the accident, we, for, to uh, catch uh, the accident. Uh, we have to be very, you know, fast. And, um, and Sandra came and <laughs> she was so, uh, you know, so, so different because she, said <laughs> she came and, and the first take was so high. So I said, okay, we, we, we will not do the, the light things. We are the shooting uh, directly. So I said to Simon, okay, you will, take, you will do the, the light uh, things uh, after, the second take or the third take. So, yes, it was funny. We have to adapt us to Sandra and to the child and to the dog. It was um, important for us to, to, for that movie, to forget a little the technical things, to be really with, the, with life, you know? For me, the more I'm, I, get, I get old, older, the more I'm, I'm obsessed by, by that, you know? On set, I think, you, I mean, to, to let go of like yeah. controlling and yeah, because there is too many too movies, much. you know, mm -hmm. and we have to find the way to to keep keep some to um, you know. And I think it works beautifully. Maybe you were at ease with working with collaborators you already worked with to let go of um, the over controlling and playing uh, a little bit with your feelings at the moment, and if you have, yeah, if you have children or animals on set, obviously you cannot control them the same way you can control Sandra, who will... You can't control me. <laughs> <laughs> no. but she pretends she does. <laughs> and, and also I have to say the dog is the best. Uh, thank you, like thank the, you. The Snoop is the best. Yes, and he was um. looking at us and he was like, okay, what absurdity. <laughs> <laughs> so we... we yeah. We have an award in this festival. It's the best animal in all the film we play oh, yeah? on. Um, okay. On the, it's called the Golden Beast, and I'm giving my vote to Snoop. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're looking for sponsors, okay, <laughs> as well. Uh, but yeah, I think Snoop will uh, will get Thank an award, you. and, and then when we get the award, you'll have to come back to okay. receive it. Okay. Uh, which is fine because we're opening the film like right after the festival, so you yeah. can. Yeah. Can still be here. <laughs> I wish we had more time to talk about the film because there's really so much to discuss and I've seen it four or five times and every single time I, I watch it I, I have different interpretation of like the heart of the film and where my empathy are going and what I find more interesting. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, so I, you have to come back. All of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Florence. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.